Okay, 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 all right. I get it. I kind of fucked up. You guys made it very clear in the comment section that I did some things wrong while installing the brakes on the RX-7, and uh, I'm sorry. See, I thought it was such a simple job that I didn't bother looking up how to do it. I mean, you just take the old ones off, put the new ones on, and clean them, right? Yeah, yes, but I did some things in the wrong order, and I kind of, I, I fucked up, like I said. So, you know, thank you for letting me know. Some of you guys were a little mean about it, but you know what? I get it, that's like the first thing I would do if I saw someone mess up in a video, just head down to the comment section and say, you fucked up. So today we're gonna be uh, fixing the brakes, pretty much taking them all apart and then redoing it and then re-bedding them in because I didn't do that right either. Uh, and then we are also fixing this sloppy shifter because so this is in gear and it, yeah, it's, it's really bad. So we're gonna do that first and then we'll take apart the brakes and we're also gonna paint them, make them look nice and just do it the right way. Another reason why I didn't do it right the first time is I was in a rush to get it finished for the drift event. Now there's nothing going on so I can take my time. Um, I know we, we've been doing a lot on the RX-7 so you guys might be getting old of it but don't worry, tomorrow we're doing stuff of that. So pretty much what we're doing to fix this shifter is installing new bushings. And over time, these either dry out, they crack, or sometimes they even just disappear altogether. And uh, that's why the shifter is so sloppy. When it's in gear, it shouldn't move much at all. And this, a lot of movement, as you can see. The other weird thing is that it rotates from left to right. You see that? This shifter is just, in general, really notchy. And honestly, I don't really like it. I think it's too notchy. So I'm hoping that the bushings help with that a little bit. Um, it's just, yeah, it's not my favorite shifter, I will admit, but hopefully we'll make it better. And this also might be a short shifter, I don't really know. I know the uh, Mazda Trix short shifter is really popular for this, so if this doesn't help, then I'm gonna do that. First thing we have to do is take apart this center console. This is the Miata shifter from the Rally Miata. Oh boy, all right, well, this, as I feared, these shift, these rubber shift boots are just completely fucked. And I didn't order a new one because they're expensive, um, but I guess I'll be ordering a new one. Like this one right here is 50 bucks and the inner one is like another 30 bucks. Um, wow, this is gross. This is not a good sign, not a good start. Oh, it's so gross. Oh, well, that might be a reason. <laughs> None of these bolts are tightened. Oh my God, that's so bad. So you just go ahead and take off these three bolts. Now we can just, oh, okay. That was a lot easier. Yeah, there are no bushings on this. So no surprise there. That's supposed to be pretty common. Just the rear ones have just fallen off into the abyss of the trainee. Now what we want to do is, oh, at least there's oil in here, so that's good. But you do want to, replace the oil in there so we're gonna get a turkey baster and suck it all up and then put in new stuff all right so i got this uh cool suction grease gun pretty much to uh, suck out all the old uh gear lube also there's a guy here to uh install wi-fi in the shop finally and uh we forgot to put the dildo away where it's put away is it put away now <laughs> you guys know how my friends put a dildo up on the garage well i took it off and i had it in the shop and the, the wi-fi guy walks in and he just kind of like glances at it and's like all right, you know what? He didn't. He didn't say anything, did he? No, he just showed a guy <laughs> quiet after I offered him food. <laughs> I think that sort of ruined it for him. <laughs> yeah. So um, sorry, Wi-Fi guy, about the dildo. But um, let's go ahead and continue. Let's uh, let's give this gear lube a good suck. That sounds really gross. Let's go ahead and put some of it back in. Alright, there we go. So you take this little thing right here, and you put one bushing on the top, and then you put this onto your shifter right here. Then you put the other bushing on the bottom. And there we go, we've got our finished product. You have to be kind of careful because it's gonna fall apart until you put it in the thing, because the way this all holds together is by bolting into the shifter. So, yeah, that's that.
All right, so the actual shifter is put together. There was one problem, and the problem is that I can't tighten down this third bolt at all. Like, it, it's, it doesn't go in at all. The last owner, or one of the previous owners, was just so dumb and just like way over tightened it, and it just stripped out every single thread on that bolt. So the only way I can really fix that, I guess I could tap it to a little bit larger size, but you know, it, I'm not doing that right now. But th these two did still tighten down, and let me tell you, it's so much better. Like, put into gear, look at that. Almost no wiggle. Crisp, it doesn't rotate side to side anymore. So, it's definitely worked. Let's go ahead and put it back together all the way. Let's go ahead and put this guy over that. And put this sad excuse for uh, heat shielding back on. Alright, and there we go. It looks ugly, but oh yeah, look at that. No play left or right. And put in the first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Now it feels a lot more like a Miata, and that is what I want. Like, so much better. I don't have to shove it into gear and just, oh yeah. <laughs> it's crazy what a little cheap thing can do. If your shifter is at all sloppy or anything, I highly recommend doing this to your car. They're usually pretty cheap and it makes such a difference in driving. As I'm gonna enjoy driving this car so much more. All right, let's go ahead and clean this up. So now that that is all done, let's go ahead and start working on these brakes again. I'm gonna take off the caliber, uh, take out the pads, take off the rotor. I'm gonna clean the rotor um, before I put it back on, like I'm supposed to. And once I get all this off, we'll go ahead, clean the caliper, paint it, and then I wanna paint this dust shield as well because it's really ugly. Uh, and then I also am gonna paint the actual hub and clean that off so it's nice and smooth. Yeah, so. It already looks so much better just with a little bit of sanding. All right guys, so all the important things are cleaned up. I sanded everything down, uh, brake cleaned it a lot. Just getting it so the paint will actually stick to the surface. I was thinking about doing the caliber red, but that's a little, 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 little bit too much for me. I, I think black looks a lot cleaner. I'm also gonna do the Mazda in a white, so it's gonna be really cool. Of course, whenever you're doing this, you wanna use the high heat stuff because your brakes get very warm, especially if you're uh, bringing your car to the track. So let's go ahead and start putting this shit on. So we got the paint drying on this side for both the brakes. It's looking pretty good. It's kind of pointless to try to make this car look nice because of this paint. But eventually we will get it repainted and it'll actually look nice. So you know what? We are getting new wheels and coilovers very soon. So I'm very pumped for that. That will help with drifting a lot as well as help with it being so ugly. Because these stock wheel. <laughs> So this side is all done. Let's go ahead and put it back together. As you can see, we got a nice Mazda. That's pretty cool. Just pretend it says Brembo right there. Yeah, okay. All right, so this side is all put back together. And as you can tell, God damn, do these look so much better. If the wheel wall was clean and we had the new suspension in there, it's gonna look so good. And I really like the way the Mazda turned out. Back's pretty good as well, although I did get a fingerprint on it up there. So yeah, not very good, but uh, Pretty much what I did differently this time is that I cleaned the rotors before putting them back on. Uh, I did almost mistake my brake cleaner for my, my paint, so I almost painted the rotors. That would have been bad. So yeah, these brakes are installed correctly this time. Let's go ahead and go on to the other side. Now you're reading my two songs. Reminiscing, but I've been gone. Hope you think of me when you're listening to this song. Spend another verse, so we're calling this dear mom. Stuck underneath. 
Alright guys, so that is gonna be it for today. Um Wow, the shop is like so empty. It's so late at night and it just it feels kind of spooky. But I finished up on the RX-7. All the brakes are done and painted and looking awesome. This side is all on the ground. You can kind of see this side. It's dark, but um, yeah, it turned out really awesome. And the shifter also is just so nice. I can't wait to drive it. I haven't gotten to drive it yet with it on, but um, I didn't entirely put this right side back together because it's really light and the uh, the front one is, isn't quite dry, kind of got fingerprints all over it, which sucks, but yeah, so that was, that was pretty awesome. I did it right and I'm, I'm glad I took my time. Tomorrow we're gonna be installing a snorkel on the Rally Miata, it's gonna be sick. But I think that's gonna be it for today. The shop got Wi-Fi. Um, if you guys want like a little shop update, we've done a lot of little things. And I haven't made a video about any of it. So if you guys want like a shop update, Video, I would be happy to do that. I've been getting a lot of hate recently. Um, I don't know why, well, I don't know what's up with you guys, but you guys just have been kind of mean. It, it's it's annoying putting all this effort into videos and all this effort into my cars, just seeing everyone just dislike it. And there've been plenty of you know supportive comments as well, but the hate does get annoying. So maybe just consider being a little nicer. I really enjoy it when all the comments are positive and I really don't enjoy it when all the comments are negative, so. I just wanted to put that out there. Um, who's excited for Lord's new album? No one? No? Me? I am. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, please, please consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. Follow me on my other social medias, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and I'll see you guys next time. I think I already said that. Peace out.